want to continue to build the church in this uh, copper mine. So I'm just going to have a little tour. Oh, there you can see a little better without my head. There we are. We're going to have a tour of the uh, place and we we'll actually get to venture down inside as well. I'm not terribly claustrophobic, so I should be okay. Here's the main facility itself. Seven euro per adult in. For guided tour at 10 and 12, and that's another time as well. But booking is possible and probably helps. I think we were kind of lucky to get in without having made a booking. My name is Julie, nice to meet you and be your guide for the tour of today. So I wanted to give you some uh, uh, historical uh, knowledge about the structure that we're going to visit uh, very soon. So you have to think that uh, according to some old documents, apparently the first excavation here they are made like uh, during the Tuscan era. Mm. Is that what she said? Yeah. Oh, lovely. thing because now we are on the first level of this mine but you have to think that uh, in total we have other nine more levels uh, yeah now we are on the first level and uh, we can feel here like the 12 degree all the year but uh, we are really near to a place called Larderello. Larderello is a place where there is like an intense geothermic activity under the ground so here we have like the 12 degree all the year but for example if we are going down at the fifth level of this mine we can find like a temperature of 27 28 degree mm -hmm. with a 75 percent of humidity it's like there is a, uh, a sauna <laughs> yeah. Saint Barbara uh, she was like uh, the patron saint of all the miners, but also the firefighting, the bomb squad, all the person that made like uh, dangerous work where there is the risk to blowing up. <laughs> because uh, apparently the, um, the story said that uh, she wanted to convert to Christianity, but the father didn't allow that. So he decides to imprison her inside the tower 
for a miracle appear in the, this uh, lit uh, three windows and she managed to escape in the first place but uh, unfortunately the father discovered her she uh, he tortured her and uh, he killed her and at the very end there was like a big thunderstorm and a thunder hit the father on his head he's blowing up he died as well so from that moment she yeah she became like the patron saint of all the miners all the workers that uh, risked their life uh, during the, the war I ask this question uh, to the children, but I ask uh, <laughs> this question also to you. Um, have you read the story of Pinocchio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know about the story of Pinocchio? Okay, so if you uh, think about the story of Pinocchio and then you look at these particular tunnels, and I ask uh, to you uh, to choose uh, a name for these tunnels, the answer is? Will. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> good answer. Yeah, uh, it was correct because uh, this was like uh, the belly of the whale. like a little bit uh, change of temperature here it's uh, warmer not so warm but <laughs> yeah yeah because now we are on a collection point uh, this place uh, where we have like uh, our feet uh, it's called a collection point and we have a collection point and we can feel like uh, this uh, change of temperature because uh, in front of you you can see apparently a simple wall but it's not a wall because now we are under Shaft Alfredo. Shaft Alfredo is the second excavation shaft of the mine of Monte Catini. You have to think it was built in the 1850, was fed by the steam engineer, and the depth of uh, the shaft you can see over there uh, is like uh, 320 meters. And uh, also you have to think that today if we had it, the leg of all the tunnels at every level of this mine, we can have like a total leg of 35 kilometers. Mm. Yeah. So we have uh, our Shaft Alfredo inside uh, this uh, tower, a medieval tower. It's like a castle and <laughs> we can see later. And then you have to imagine that inside the shaft uh, we have uh, uh, two cargo bins. They are moving uh, vertically inside the shaft uh, as it was uh, an elevator. And they use it like uh, to grab uh, all the copper outside the Shaft Alfredo. And here a collection point because if you notice uh, um, near the collection point inside the wall we have these strange holes inside the wall because usually the cargo bin arrive here and the miners here have uh, like um, the, the job to rotate this cargo the cargo touched on the wall and it drop outside all the waste material here uh, so this is uh, why the reason they decide to call it the collection point but uh, they start to work inside the tunnels at the age of 18 and they have uh, this job they have to fill they have here uh, the wagons they fill it with the waste material and they pull it outside through the uh, belly of the whale later they put uh, also a truck inside the belly of the whale and then they have to observe what the miners after the 21 years old work 
inside the, the tunnels where they made the, the excavation. And this was one of the tunnels where they made the excavation. You can see over here. And the name of these tunnels is uh, Luisa, because we have for the um, excavation shaft all the male name, so Shaft Alfredo. And we have for all the tunnels of the mine a <laughs> female name, Luisa. Luisa was like the wife of the German owner. And, and now we go outside in the part called the Laudry, where they use uh, to collect all the waste material and then they work on the copper, okay? like one of the most important part of the mine but unfortunately as you can see it's one of the parts uh, we can uh, show you yeah not so much uh, because you have to think that uh, um, this mine was closed on the 12th of October 1907 as I told you but unfortunately it was in the middle of a bombarding during the second world war in the 1944 and then they obtained the pure copper this copper they uh, put it inside here the parts of the laundry and they have uh, over there like the place where they use it the centrifuges the centrifuges they are they were fed by the steam engine the steam engine was outside the, the laundry and then uh, with this centrifuge they obtain like uh, a powder of copper this powder they put this powder inside the, this uh, tanks this is the last one that we have nowadays they were like full of water so the powder was heavier he reached the bottom and they decide to settling uh, this powder again and again to obtain like the fine uh, powder of, of copper and this was like uh, the job of the children imagine yeah and they had like uh, eight years old until ten years old and they make like uh, this job here and you have to think that as a payment for this hard work inside the mine they decide to build a school in the part of the village of the miners you can find like the little church dedicated to Saint Barbara also a theater for the family of the miners and also a school uh, today is still open uh, it's like the middle grade uh, for the children of Monte Catini and uh, you can find uh, this powder nowadays in a very specific place you have uh, to go to England to London and then uh, you can look uh, the roof of the, of the city of London and you have to think that they use it for the for their roofs the copper that they discover here in this mine because they export uh, all the copper in England and Germany and nowadays we use this part of the mine um, yeah as you can see like we put um, a stage on the last tank and we use it for theater for concert and we have it here during the summer like uh, the dinner by candlelight uh, <music> We have here the last chimney that we have uh, nowadays. You have to think it was taller.
And now I ask this question to you. So, imagine that I am a miner here outside and I was waiting that one of these uh, cargo arrive full of material. In your opinion, how can I communicate with my companion they are under shelter cradle inside the mine? Do you have any idea? Morse code. <laughs> Maybe with this kind of talking on a ship, with this uh, speaking to a uh, Speaking, no, but the sound is the, is the right way. Morse code? Morse code. Morse code, yeah. Morse code. So the sound. A bell? <laughs> bell. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So they have here a big bell, they have small bells at every level of the mine and they decide to create a Morse code to communicate to each other. to create this statue using a very uh, particular stone that we have it here and um, here in Montecatini they call it like uh, Montecatinese because they they have it a lot they are really proud to have this stone if you notice uh, you can see this stone here in the statue but also on the floor of the Shaftal Predo on the floor of the Carpentry so if you maybe already visit Volterra and you see all the Etruscan gates uh, outside uh, the city you can see one of the famous one is uh, Porta Larco is uh, the gate with the tree head on the top of the entrance and the tree heads are made with uh, this particular stone and you can see it here get some view of the valley from here because you have to think that usually the copper had like a, a dark orange color and we have this uh, little piece with the uh, sulfur and this other one with the iron and uh, different components, different weight so you want to test it? so the sulfur, iron <laughs> yeah yeah you can want 